Hi everybody and welcome to the Z Code System Sports Picks. Here we develop and share several different types of automated system which can help you win and not only win consistently but also win big. So as we are into December now and we are past the quarter point of the NHL season we have uh, several interesting matchups here to discuss for the games on Friday December the 7th. So let's take a look at what we have here. But first of all we're going to open up the uh, VIP club section, which is, gives you a lot of great information about all the games. So we're going to scroll down here to our first matchup. So we got here San Jose Sharks at the Dallas Stars. San Jose comes in third in the uh, Pacific, and Dallas is in the middle of the Central Division. So you see here, if we go down here at the game, we see that uh, the status here for the Sharks is ice cold up versus Dallas, which is burning hot at the moment. And if we go down here at the head-to-head -head matchup, you will see that Dallas has dominated recently between the two teams. You see this here in green that shows that Dallas has won. And they have won five here. You see five of the last six. And Dallas has been favored in several of those games, but not all. I mean, the Sharks have been favored on a few of them. But you see here that the, the uh, Stars have dominated recently. If you look here at the power rankings indicator also, you can see here that Dallas is on an upward trend, clearly a big upward trend, while San Jose is dropping way down. And the actual numbers here for the uh, power rankings indicator are what here? We've got 21 for Dallas, and uh, San Jose is all the way down to plus 9. So you can see a huge advantage for Dallas right here. And uh, we'll take a look at the uh, team volatility. I'm sorry, let's take a look at this and see how uh, stable the teams are at the moment. You take a look here and you see that Dallas is also the more stable of the two teams, which means they will win more consistently as favorites and they will lose more consistently as underdogs. Well, they're home. They're going to be the favorite in this one. They're playing very well at the moment. This is clearly a game where you want to pick Dallas to overtake San Jose to continue their winning trend. So let's go down here to the next matchup. Here we got the St. Louis Blues at the Winnipeg Jets. Well, at the moment here, it's another matchup that appears to be completely lopsided. You see Winnipeg is burning hot at the moment. St. Louis is ice cold down. If you look here at their power rings indicator, you will see this as well, what's happening here. St. Louis has been down near the bottom all season. They're up. They're at plus five. They actually went up a little bit uh, recently, but they're still down here at plus five. Winnipeg completely continues to rise here. They were at 15 on November 29th, and now they're up to 21. So you can see their trend is completely going up. They're also much more of a stable team. If you look here at the uh, down here at the volatility oscillator, you will see there we go that Winnipeg is completely rising again at plus 10, and you can't even see how far down St. Louis is. They are way down here at minus three, so they're very unstable. And right now, you can see that Winnipeg clearly has an advantage. They um, also have won five of the last six meetings between the two teams. They are playing at home. They are the favorite. And being that they are very stable means, that again, that they will win um, very often as favorites and lose as underdogs. They are favorites in this one, and they will win the game. Let's go down here to the next one. We have a matchup between the Minnesota Wild and the Edmonton Oilers. Edmonton is average down. Minnesota is ice cold down, and you see what's happening here as well with these two teams. If we go look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that Minnesota is going on a downward trend, and Edmonton's on an upward trend where they're almost level. If you see here just a few days ago, about a week ago, uh, Minnesota had a huge advantage, plus 24 to plus 9, and that advantage now has dropped from the 18 to 17. So... Uh, Minnesota, if you look at the head-to-head -head matchups now, you will see that Minnesota has won one, two, three, looks like four of the last six meetings between the two teams, actually five of the last seven if you go down here to December of 2016. They've had the upper hand in the overall series between the two teams. Um, if you look at the team stability, let's look at this. That also can tell us quite a bit of things as you seen before. So if you look at the stability here, Edmonton's at five. They're a more stable team than Minnesota. They are going to be the favorites. They're going to be on home ice. They're the favorites. They're the more stable team. And although Minnesota has won four of the last six, I think Edmonton will take this one on home ice. 
So let's look at the final matchup of this week. We have the Carolina Hurricanes against the Anaheim Ducks. Anaheim is very hot lately. Burning hot, as you can see. Carolina's average down. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see what I'm talking about it as Anaheim is gone from plus 10, the power ranking indicator, on November 27th, all the way up to 25. And you can see Carolina is, has gone down a little bit. They're down to 14. Anaheim has also dominated between the two teams recently. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, you will see this. Anaheim has won the last... Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. One of the last five. Carolina has not won since December of 2015. That trend is likely to continue. If you look at the volatility oscillator, which I always like to look at, it shows the trends as far as their stability, as far as if they're winning consistently as favorites and losing consistently as underdogs. You can see neither team is extremely stable. They are both at plus one. So in this matchup, I wouldn't take too much into account as far as their favorite underdog status. I uh, look more at the trends recently at the way the teams are playing. And clearly Anaheim is very hot and they have won so much recently against Carolina. Definitely go with the Ducks in this one. So now if you're not too interested in all these actual numbers and all this stuff, you can check out what we have here is the top automated systems. And this is really a good thing here. If you take a look at this, you just scroll down. And you see here where it says select sports, just select hockey, because that's what you're interested in right now. If you just go to NHL, if we go down here to NHL, right here. And then you can look at and the time period that you want. Well, let's see, if you want the last three months, since the beginning of the season, since the start, if you want through just 2018, you can put that. You just select what you want. Probably uh, 2018 would be the best for you. Um, you look at the methods, top profit, best ROI, best profit chart, best trust factor. And you can scroll down through here. You can see all the different uh, ones that are the best. You see here you have uh, this hockey system here, Edis Hockey System. You have David L. System, NHL Flat Game Winners, and so on and so forth. Just scroll down through here. I'll just click on one just to give you an idea of what it looks like. If you open one up, I'll just click on this one, the David L. System. And you can see what's going to happen here. Uh, okay, so this one doesn't really have much going on here at the moment, but it does show you here NHL home underdog 2.5 5 winners, and they have here graded past results. You can just click on any of these and look to see what it offers. And here is the uh, summary by all trends it's just the profit total along this, the y axis here, the vertical axis, and you have game number along the horizontal axis. You can see the big profit growth on this one. So it's just another tool that you can use to help you. Uh, figure out your games and make the picks the way you want to make them. So there you have it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And if you're not a member of Z Code Club, please make an effort to join. You'll enjoy it. You'll start winning big. See you next week and have a great day.